Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to make a simple logo reveal using Saber and After Effects that looks something like this. First, we're going to go to a new composition. You don't really need that much time, probably like, I don't know, 4 seconds or something like that. So we're going to set the project file to 4 seconds, 1920 by 1080, 60 frame rate. First, we just want to drag on our logo. Once your logo is imported, we're going to have to at least trace this. Now you can trace it yourself or you can uh, use the auto trace function. So as long as you have your layer selected and you go up to layer and you click auto trace, the default settings will work, but you can just copy what I have here if it's any different. Once you hit auto trace, you'll see that we have two different colors. If you open up the auto trace at the bottom, you'll see that the masks, that's what's tracing it. So you got mask one, mask two. As you can see, the pink mask is the outside. The purple mask is the inside. This is now traced. You don't. You pretty much don't even need this auto trace layer. It's just there to get the tracing for us. Um, you can also take off the logo as well. You don't need to have that logo active right now. We'll fade it in later on in the in the tutorial. You want to add Saber in, and you add it using a solid. So you right click a blank area down here in the composition. You click New and Solid. Uh, I usually will. I mean, we can just name this Saber Trace. You can name it whatever you want. Um, Saber Trace works, and the default settings are good, 1920 by 1080. Uh, you click OK. So now we have a solid layer, and we want to add Saber to it. If you don't have Saber already, you can go to videocopilot.net and download Saber. It's a free plugin, and it's super awesome. I use it for literally everything. I love it. So now click on your Saber Trace layer that we, we created. Go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Saber. This will give you a Saber line that you can move freely. Go down to Normal the mode, and click add. Also what we would like to do is go to the render settings, open those, and then this composite setting, we want it to be transparent. I like it to be transparent, that way you can see through it, you can put it over whatever you want, you can use this asset now for uh, alerts or, or overlays, uh, like camera overlays, whatever you want. Next up, we want to get this auto tracing. Our logo auto trace that we made earlier, these two masks, remember there was one on the inside, one on the outside, the pink and the purple. You want to copy both of these. So the way that you grab both of them at the same time is control clicking. That will allow you to grab both of them at once. Then you can control C to copy them. And then click on your saber trace layer and put control V, which will paste these new masks that we had down here onto your solid layer. Uh, and that's basically allowing us to put saber onto these tracings. So this auto trace, you don't need it anymore, so you can just hover, you can just select it and, and delete it. We don't need it at all. Now we have our Saber trace. If you go up to Customize Core, there's the drop down here. Um, if you go, it says Saber in this drop down menu beside Core Type. If you click Layer Masks, this will now copy those two masks. So basically, we've we've added Saber to the tracings that we've created. You obviously want to uh, cater this to whatever color you want. Um, me, for example, my logo is yellow, so an orange might be a nice flavor to go with it. So if you actually click this color swatch here, and then we can just turn it to whatever color we want. Uh, so for example, let's get a little more orange here. Great. So there's the orange uh, color. Again, just experiment and have fun with that. This glow intensity uh, and core size, this is important. You guys can really do whatever you want. Um, but if you want to copy my settings, feel free. We'll just experiment right now to get something nice. So the glow intensity, I don't typically like it too, too big. Um, so right now I'm at 6%. Uh, and the core size, if we actually click off, you can see the core size here. The core size will just get bigger and smaller with this, with this core size function here. So if we just go down to 2, let's say, um, that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll turn the glow intensity back up a little bit to like 12% or something. So I think that looks pretty cool. So now we have the traced out, uh, we have the tracing for our logo, which I think looks super sharp. Next up, this is how you're actually going to make it follow the path. There's an end offset here, and you can see that when you grab it and move it, it will actually kind of trace the layer as it as you move it. So you want to add a keyframe uh, at let's say zero seconds. We can do zero seconds. You want to add a keyframe uh, for your end offset. So you can click this little stopwatch here and put it all the way down to zero at zero seconds. So now if you actually click on your layer and push the letter U, it will open all of your all of the edits basically on that layer. So you can see that I have the saber and offset at zero down here and there's a keyframe at zero seconds. 
So depending on how, how fast you want this to trace, you can scrub to any point in the timeline and add a second keyframe. We're just going to do one second for sake of the tutorial. So you go to one second, and then you don't even have to add another keyframe. You just can adjust this end offset. You can just grab it and drag it all to 100% at, at one. So now what this will do is just add a second keyframe for you. Or basically, you don't even have to add it yourself. It'll just add a second keyframe for you by itself. If you want to make it a little more less static, because it's all going to move at one speed, you can highlight, highlight these and easy ease them. I like to easy ease almost everything. It just adds a little more human touch uh, and less kind of static, you know, movement uh, to each, each uh, edit you do. So now if we push play, we'll see what we created. So it's a pretty fast trace, but it doesn't look bad. Again, you can experiment with this. You can just drag this keyframe to like, let's say two seconds and it would slow down the animation for you. So now you can see the animation is a lot slower. So let's roll with, I like one second just because it's nice and quick. Um, and now basically what we would like to do is have our logo come in and have those, the saber layer fade out. So if you push T, it'll open the opacity on your logo layer. If you go over to one second, that's when the saber animation is finished, um, as discussed earlier. Um, so now we want basically the opacity. You can click this stopwatch, which will set one keyframe at one second. We want it to be at zero here. Because what we want the logo to do is fade into the saber and have the saber fade out. We'll go forward 30 frames. And we'll just put this up to 100 now. So what that'll basically do is once this saber is complete, it'll fade your logo in. And we just want to reverse that on the saber layer as well. So again, you push T to open opacity. You go to the one second mark. You hit that keyframe again. It's at 100% here. You can see that the saber is active. And let's say by the same time when your logo is going to fade in at 30 frames. At the same time when your logo is going to fade in, you want the saber to be gone. You just put your marker over this keyframe. And now you, with opacity selected, you put this one at zero. And let's take a look at the entire animation. Right? Super simple. There we go. We have Saber Trace. We have the logo come in. We have the Saber disappear. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please hit the sub button. Uh, check me out on TikTok, and I stream every night on Twitch at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we surprise streamers with random graphics uh, nightly. So if you want to be part of the surprise, come on by. I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.